So for people who are here, uh, you can write in chat, ask all the questions you may have. So that will be interactive webinars. We will show you the sortings uh, and uh, we will try to answer every question you may have. So let's start. Dear ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen my name is Simir Stanislav. I am a foreign trade manager of company C-Sort. Uh, we will work today with our service engineer, that's Sergei Kleshenko. And also, as uh, you've seen, uh, our moderator today, Alena Lebedeva, uh, she will write you in chat. Uh, so, today we open a series of webinars of company C-Sort concerning advantages in using color sorting equipment in production. Uh, we're glad to see you here today and uh, hope you will enjoy that meeting. The theme today is optical sorter usage for sorting seeds and pulses. I will tell you the main information about our company, then explain the technology of color sorting. We also make the review of the machine and its capabilities. We will check out visual appearance, chutes, configurations. After that, we will make online tests of wheat, kidney beans, lentil, corn and oat. During the sorting we will discuss the efficiency of using color sorter and will decide what could you make with your new clean product. You may write in chat, ask your questions and I will try to answer the most common and interesting ones. So that will be interactive webinars so feel free to write and ask questions. So let's start. Our company is experienced producer of color sorters, or also it's called in different countries optical sorters. That's equipment for sorting and cleaning grains, cereals, seeds, tea, coffee, and many other bulk materials, even glass or plastic. Our equipment can sort non-food uh, materials from the impurities which are hard to clean. So if you'd like to get the cleanliness about 99 and 9% you need to buy color sorter. So let's start uh, from the sales. We are absolute leaders in selling that equipment in Russia and also our equipment we export our equipment to more than 22 countries. So, you can see from the slides that we started our business in 2007. Uh, and with, uh, in a special part of La Russia, uh, it's a red one on the presentation, that's Altai region. We are originally from Barnaul and here, uh, in that place, we started our business. Then, uh, from uh, 2011, we started to sell the whole part of Russia. We opened uh, uh, we opened subsidiaries in, uh, four, uh, in four cities in Russia, that's Novosibirsk, Samara, Krasnodar. And then uh, from 2013 we started to sell to six countries. So, and from 2015 uh, we visited Agritechnica show, Agritechnica exhibition. There we announced our smart sort version of color sorter. And then from that period of time, uh, we started to uh, export that equipment to Europe. And we signed an agreement with several dealers worldwide and opened six showrooms uh, in Europe. So that's in Germany, in Ukraine, two of them in Rovno and Kharkov city, in Bulgaria, Veliko Tarnova, uh, also Ireland, Dundalk, the Czech Republic, Zlin, and you can see that three more outside Europe. That Iran, Shiraz City, and two of them will be opened by the end of that year. That the Republic uh, of South Africa in the city Cape Town, and in India, in Chennai. So from the presentation you can see that uh, we are not only selling the equip that equipment through our dealers, but also they help us to serve it, to maintain, so if you need to set that equipment in that countries and get all the service after sale service, 
you will be glad to visit our demo rooms there. Then uh, we launched uh, more than uh, 650 machines worldwide. So the main product we are sorting uh, is uh, rice, sunflower kernels, sunflower seeds, various cereals, and wheat. So every hour, sea sort, color sorter process, you can see that, for example, every hour, uh, 840 tons per uh, sea sort uh, process. Uh, the companies uh, which are using uh, our color sorter process so many tons of the product. So about us, we have more than uh, 100 employees and we have several developments. Uh, that's a research and development center, engineering and designing center, production, customer service, uh, also uh, logistics center, and sales and after sales service. Um, also we have uh, foreign sales. International customers, as I told you, can sort their samples in the showroom in Europe and outside Europe also. So production. In our production, we employ high-tech high equipment and engage experts. So from the picture, you can see that we really have our production here. Um, a lot of equipment helps uh, European and uh, American well-known equipment help us to produce uh, really great machines. So you can see that, uh, for example, metal processing, uh, metal processing equipment from leading manufacturer like Trump, Lismac, Haas. Also, we use professional welding equipment, uh, such as Fanuc Roberts. A lot of our employees have scientific degree, so they try to, to make our product better. As for the machine, um, we use uh, only well-known uh, suppliers like Kodak, Toshiba, Komotsi. So you, you need to be sure that our equipment is well-designed and, uh, uh, really and really high quality. So let's talk about operating principle. So from the presentation, you see that uh, here is a loading hopper. You put the product in the loading hopper. Then it goes to the vibrator, to the chute. Then uh, lamps inside the machine, and uh, with the help of the cameras, analyze the materials. Then the signals go to the ch uh, to the ejectors, and uh, uh, ejectors blow away different kind of admixtures and weed seeds, for example. So now from how it looks like in the machine. Uh, you put the product in the infeed uh, hopper, so up there, so that's a vibrating feeder. With the help of vibration, the products go through the, down through the chute, it's flow down, and cameras from the, in the front box, also the cameras from the rear side of the machine, analyze the product, and the signals go to the ejectors. And injectors blows away different kind of admixture. So uh, up front goes uh, waste materials, rejected ones, and good materials uh, will not uh, be damaged, and it goes uh, like in one flow. Now, uh, some words about the technology. Here you can see it's one tuted machines. As you've seen, only one tute is working now. Uh, in our model line, we, we had three tuted machines, but really today in Moscow, uh, we announce our new one, six tuted machines. So now um, we can uh, supply to our clients uh, color sorters uh, till six tutes. So why do you need so many tutes? First way that if you need to enlarge your capacity, uh, you need uh, to install more chutes to the machine. So for example, passport capacity for wheat is about four tons per hour. So uh, if you make it three chutes, the capacity will be till 12 tons per hour. Also, uh, next one. From the presentation, you see um, there are a lot of lines, so I will explain you. You put the initial product to the machine, 
then uh, to the two chutes, to uh, two, two uh, hoppers. Then the products go through the chutes, and uh, by the end you'll get good material and bad material. But in that rejected material, in that bad ones, you have um, you have several parts of good materials, and to not to get lost that you you every client like to sort it one more. That is why you use third chute for resorting to get concentrated reject of the material, and uh, good one from that third chute will go like the initial product. So by the end you will get really good one, 99 and 91% of purity and concentrated reject where almost no uh, good seed or grain exist. Let's talk a bit about uh, our model range. So we have uh, three models. That's Optima, Zorki, and SmartSort. So let's start from Optima. Optima, that's the simplest version uh, in our range. You can install only two cameras per one chute. Also, that's uh, great equipment for uh, for those uh, who would like to sort only one product. For example, there are a lot of uh, customers and companies who would like to sort only rice or only bean, and they are not going to, to sort something new. That is why that will be great for them to install the Optima, sort only one product. You, don't, you won't need any kind of reconfiguration, and that will be great for you. Another one is Zorki. Zorki is our uh, mid <laughs> middle position in our range uh, line because uh, uh, it's uh, it's equipment for everything. So you can sort every product you wish. Uh, you can um, set up about 500, 600 programs in the menu, and you will sort. You can sort really. Uh, from the products from walnuts till small seeds like poppy seeds, for example. So for every um, for every size, for every color, for every product. So the the main difference between Zorki and Smart Sort, we uh, you uh, you see now uh, that the um, level of automatization. So uh, that equipment you can. Um, you can use in fully automatic factories where you need uh, to use from the central panel of the, fact, uh, of the factory and so on. Uh, also, you, you see really the difference in design. Sometimes clients really need that. You have a lot of uh, different advantages of using SmartSort, for example, then Zorki and Zorki, then Optima. Uh, you may write your emails uh, and um, our managers will connect with you and send you the file with the differences between these models and you, you also may ask all the questions you may have about that. So, uh, as I told, in Optima you can install only two cameras per one shoot. Here, you in SmartSort and in Zorki, you can install, uh, you can install four cameras per one shoot. So, for example, here uh, in that model, in Smart Sort 1, you have two cameras on the front side and two cameras on the rear side, like you see on the slide operating principle. So, we have different types of uh, cameras. Um, here you can see the abbreviations. So, we have uh, M, that monochrome cameras. Uh, they operate in visible spectrum. Also, uh, N, uh, that's monochrome cameras operating in infrared spectrum and in visible spectrum also. So, uh, also we can, uh, you can install the configuration like uh, monochrome and infrared on the front side and monochrome and infrared, fr infrared from the rear side to make it four uh, cameras per one shoot. Also, we have uh, that that's configuration called uh, big chrome version when you use four cameras. 
Also, we have full colored camera. So there's the RGB cameras, three line matrix. So you can uh, sort your product also on the basis of color like monochromatic ones, but get another result. Uh, sometimes it's better. Sometimes uh, when the differences between good and bad products is not so visible, for example, um, yellow and white yellow or green and white green, for example, you'll need to use uh, color cameras. Also, when you sort a different kind of plastics in non-agricultural field, you also need to use uh, color cameras, full colored. So you can really ask your manager uh, what uh, will be better for you, uh, what camera will be better to install, and they will show you the video. They make taste. They will make test sortings. Also make. Uh, um, all label lists, uh, lab protocols, so you will analyze the results and uh, choose whatever you wish. So, do you have any question? Maybe you can write in chat, let's talk a bit, and then we will go to, uh, to sorting itself, and we will show you the sorting. Okay, nobody is willing to to write and ask questions, let's start sorting. Today uh, we won't test uh, rice. Uh, we, uh, we can test rice for you especially, make the Skype conference and show everything you wish. For example, we can get rid of different types of dark ed mixture, also with uh, uh, deep white and so on. So let's start from wheat to better analyze it. So you can see that there is the wild oat, uh, different types of dark admixture, which make your product much way worse. For example, if you use color sorter in Mills. If you use color sorter in mills, you can get the whiteness on your floor uh, much way higher than you had before. So as as you've seen, engineer put the product in the uh, hopper, in feed hopper, then he starts, make the start, section start, and then after that will product go through the chute. So please check it. So here is the good material. You'll get almost 100% purity. And here are the bad ones. Yeah, you may ask me that there is the good ones also. As I told you, uh, for that you will use resorting and uh, by the end of our webinars we will show you how resorting can help you uh, to concentrate your reject. So not uh, we, uh, we've chosen wheat to show you um, this dark mixture. Also, we can uh, also we can uh, sort uh, wheat uh, for, for the vitreosity. So, if you'd like to uh, use uh, hard sorts of wheat and get rid of uh, not hard, 
So uh, you also can sort it uh, with the color sorter. If somebody can't really uh, see the result because of uh, the internet connection, so you can see it from the presentation, we made a photo. So there's the wheat that's on the left there, the good material, good wheat, without any wheat seeds, or without any admixture, and on the right side there's the really reject material. So, then let's sort out. I think it's also a common product for you. We will try to sort it and show you what we could reject from that material. So, please, yeah, that the input. Mm -hmm. So, our engineer will make the same procedure. So as you've seen on that machine, you can sort uh, every product you wish. Not so many times you need to reconfigure the machine for different types of products. You only write a special. Uh, you only write a program on the menu. You can see here that there are a lot of bean, corn, lentil, oats, wheat. Uh, so uh, how many you wish, you can. Uh, right, uh, right here, and then you only choose the new program, and the machine will sort differently. Uh, what engineer make to uh, to make that difference? As I've told you, there's the different lightning inside of the machine. So because of that, he changed the configuration of LED lightning. For some products, uh, he, inst uh, he switched on red lightnings, for someone, blue one. Uh, and uh, it's uh, really necessary uh, for the machine to get uh, really the difference between good and bad materials. So our engineer uh, put the product so we can sort out. Please check, and then we will show it to you. Yes, yeah, so for you to know, they are empty. Yeah, there are no tricks. They are empty. So, So there are a lot of wild oats which have uh, dark color, so you can get rid of it. Also brown ones, sometimes you need to get rid of deep yellow or a product with a color between uh, yellow and brown, so you also can get rid of that material. So also from the presentation, you can see the photo of that. So please switch on the presentation. Yeah. So you can see that the product becomes really, really clean. Could you please switch it to the chat for me? Yeah, so from... Uh, there was the question about the bean, yeah, as I remember. So. You can sort uh, beans and we will show you uh, how it's possible, what uh, can you get rid of from the input. Also, 
that's the question. Does the smart sort have product loan function, and do you have the program machine for each product? Uh, so you need, uh, we need to uh, program the machine for each product. Uh, we have a neural algorithm. Uh, we install that in our smart sort machine. Uh, that the uh, procedure, like you told, that uh, something like loan function. Uh, so you get the product, um, install it in a special box uh, in our research and development center, uh, and and you put it, and then you uh, you put it. Uh, to the machine and machine uh, knows how to learn itself but uh, you will also need uh, our engineer uh, to your factory uh, so because of that we we are selling our equipment uh, with the setup uh, so you you need to be sure that if you buy equipment from C sort company Engineer will fly to you, teach your stuff, install you, install your engineer, how to program the machine for each product. Uh, and in two days, you will be really professional uh, in that. Uh, you need to understand that uh, we really um, make all the software. Because of that, uh, the menu is really easy to maintain, easy to work. That's why in two days, mm, you need to be sure that uh, your engineer will easily sort whatever product he wish. And also, we have uh, all our machines have online connection. So you can get the online access. Uh, we from our factory uh, can come to your machine online and uh, help you to uh, make all the settings uh, for the machine for you uh, to sort perfectly every product you wish. What is the smallest test sample required to prove the capability? So, um, that depends from the product really, but about uh, 15 killers, that will be enough 15 uh, to prove the capability. Uh, because uh, uh, because uh, we we are telling the client that uh, in the exhibition you can get five kilos and you will see the result. Here, like on the tests we uh, we did now, there was about five kilos of the product. But to test the capability, uh, you need fifteen, for example, for the product to flow down about. Uh, half a minute or a minute to really get uh, the capability. But uh, what product would you like uh, to know? Uh, because uh, we have a list of uh, capabilities for products and that is why we can really help you and tell you uh, the possibilities. Hello, Phelim. Uh, could you discuss the setting variation, lights, backgrounds when sorting flaked oats? from hell. So I will answer on that question. Uh, let's make, uh, okay, if, if it was uh, old uh, and the question about old, um, let's discuss, we can do it. Um, you need uh, to use uh, lights. Uh, that depends from the material you'd like to input. So for example, uh, sometimes uh, you have a really dark admixture. That is why that will be easier to sort in what background? Red. In red background, our engineer told me. So uh, sometimes when it's uh, half yellow, for example, or something like that. Uh, yes. Yeah, so you make uh, you uh, will need to use color cameras, full colored, as I told you. If the uh, differences between colors is not so big, or for example, yellow uh, lightning. You may ask me how could we get yellow uh, yellow lights, for example, if uh, here you can uh, RGB lightning like red, green, blue. Uh, so you need that uh, you can switch on, for example, red and green, and you'll become yellow. So there's the percentages of 
of each color. And that is why you can really change the color and the background and the lightning inside the box, inside of the machine. And that really will help you to get uh, the differences. How, uh, how could you understand that? So firstly, you can call to us and our engineers will help you. And also there is the simple test. You can bring to your, uh, to your hand good product and bad, and bad one. Then you uh, switch on the lightning and put your hand inside the machine. So then you did that. You've seen the difference because bad material becomes uh, visible and good materials makes invisible. And that is why for the machine that will be easier to get rid of that admixture. If we speak about uh, halt ones, uh, halt oats from uh, no, uh, from normal one, uh, from the halt. Uh, so it's also possible uh, you will sort it um, by different methods, uh, like uh, one product is transparent, another not, and that is why you can switch on the lightning uh, f only from one side and uh, make it uh, much way better. Mm, yeah, what do you mean by manual test method? Mm. So uh, if we haven't got here the, uh, the halt uh, O to show you really the difference uh, when we uh, make the lightning for the transparency and so on. So let's make uh, sorting of, of corn and then we will discuss uh, more. Yeah, of course, and then we'll discuss more because uh, our engineer will make the reconfiguration of the machine. We will show you uh, our special features, and then we will have about five, seven minutes for discussion. So here's the corn you can see. There are a lot of corn with... Uh, I will show you. Spoiled with black spots inside, so you you will easily get rid of that. So, Sergey, please. one that's as I know that's was a popcorn not simple corn as I remember so here you you can see different types of flowers something like that dark spots spoiled corn so everything you can get rid of with the uh, manually with mechanical equipment so innovative equipment optics can uh, help you to get the great result yeah you may ask question about the corn if you have uh, maybe special program uh, special problems in your corn and we 
didn't show you that, so I'm ready to answer. Now, yeah, we have uh, about five minutes for discussion. Please write your questions because uh, uh, Sergey will change the position of the tute. So you can see from the machine that we used channel tute now. We will show it to you when we reconfigure the machine. So here are the f uh, 54 tutes on each, uh, uh, 54 channels on each tute. So we can change the position and uh, that will be a flat tute. For next products, for lentil and for bean, uh, you will need uh, to use flat tube and we will show you that that's really easy in 10 minutes you change it and you are ready to sort another product so yeah please write your questions because we have time about five seven minutes for that yeah Felim, you are welcome for that's manual test okay now I understand so you can So you can see that engineer changed the position of vibro feeder, so you can make it uh, closer to the chute or not. That depends from the size of the material. So if uh, if the material is big, uh, the distance between chute and vibro feeder should be uh, should be bigger. Then uh, you need to get the vibro feeder closer. Uh, to the tube when you would like to sort small seeds, for example. The capacity for wheat uh, is about uh, 4 tons per hour. If we tell about the uh, normal percentage of contamination, about 2-3%. So 4 tons per hour per one tube, you will easily can make. Uh, so, uh, also now uh, we um, uh, we make uh, some tests, and our research and development centers announce that we will be able to sort till uh, seven tons per hour per one tube. So you uh, you may send your samples to our uh, test room or to our demo halls, and there we will sort your product and. Uh, make all the requirements for the capacity. So yeah, please, you can, uh, you can show what our engineer, yeah, here. He gets out the tube from, from the machine. Yeah, and you can, and you can see, so. There was there was a tute, so channel tute. So, for example, for small seeds, each seed go to each tute and then flows down by the tute. So, for you uh, to easily um, to ease uh, for ejectors, then for the machine to easily get out of the uh, bad material, get rid of them. Flat tube, another side because our tube is two-sided, so it's flat. So for for some product, that's better to use flat one. That's uh, uh, Sergey will make it on the flat side, and then we'll sort lentil and beans. So do you have any questions about maybe the, the capacity of different types of product? How could you How could you count that? The capacity will depend on the percentage of the contamination. You need to know that because if uh, the contamination is about 30%, so the capacity will be lower, then the contamination is 1%. You need to understand that. So he changed the position of the tube. Now we will be waiting about two or three minutes. He fix it and we will continue. 
I can tell you a bit about the machine. So there, you, you can see the lightning, smart sword lightning here, and uh, lightning up there. So it's so-called industrial lightning. So when you install that equipment in your factory and uh, something goes wrong, the equipment starts to blink in red. And all that lightning becomes red. So you, uh, if your uh, stuff, your operator uh, is not staying in front of the machine, um, from the every part of your factory, you really can see that the problem exists. And you can fix it. So he'll fix the position of the tube. You can see that it lasts really 10 minutes, not so long. So for example, if you produce a lot of cereals and uh, a lot of grains and you need a really multifunctional machine, that will be a great opportunity for you. Yeah, there the question. During the course of the webinar, could we discuss the manual purity estimation and uh, the post sorting validation of a sample for the customer? Um, we can't really tell you. The, uh, okay, there is the passport purity, like uh, we say. So, from uh, the contamination from 2 till 5%, uh, that's the normal type of contamination uh, for the color sorter. But uh, our planet is so different and sometimes clients need to get rid of 30% of the contamination. And uh, uh, our clients tell, them that, uh, tell us that they can't really get rid of them uh, with mechanical machines. Uh, they, with this, I mean with sieves and uh, something like that. Uh, they need to use a uh, color sorter for that. That is why, with the help of that machine, you can sort a uh, really huge percentage of uh, the contamination. Sometimes you will need to sort it twice, for example, because uh, contamination may be 40%, for example, and you will really to make uh, the sorting twice to get rid of different uh, admixture. Uh, and get really 100% uh, purity. So let's go to the presentation. Yeah, uh, here you can see real the corn was sorted with all these spoiled dark ones, black dots and so on. So next we will sort uh, lentil. So we will try to sort lentil from halves and from different wheat seeds admixture which uh, this product may uh, which may contain that product so let's show you the initial product here it is let's show you show that yeah like for the questions here you see that the contamination about 2% for uh, for tests because uh, on that contamination for you will be easier to see the difference between the product but uh, in reality we really can sort different types of input material because every client has the different same sometimes I know there are a company exists uh, which uh, uh, which buys rejected material from big factories and then try uh, to get really good material from that waste. So that depends from the client. So yeah, we can start. same empty boxes and we will show you
as I told you, there are halves of lentil. You can sort red lentils and green one also if you have that product. So, so now uh, that's um, that reject. Uh, you can see that uh, there are not a lot of, but uh, there are several uh, good grains here, good lentils. And you, like uh, the company who produce that product, you don't like to get rid of that because it costs money also. So we will show you how you could make it. So that's for everybody there the good one the good one here so and bad one um, which was rejected material we put in that box so then we input the this bad material this bad material we input to the machine to make the resorting as I uh, shown you at the beginning of our webinar. So we, we put that product like the initial. That's for the question about the contamination sometimes. So you change the program to lentil resorting and then make that resort. When you have three tuned machine, for example, uh, you can... Uh, he, he presses start, I will continue. So when you have three tuted machine, for example, or two tuted, you can uh, configure and make all the settings for each tute individually. So you'll write a program for each tute. So here you can, you can see that that material, something like good ones, that's not good itself, that's the first initial product which we bring and put uh, in the machine. And here you get the concentrated reject material. So I'll show you how it looks like. So there is a really concentrated reject and you can't really find good lentil here. And by the end really when you have of uh, two or three tuted color sorter, you'll get, you'll see that good one and that bad one. And the material we've got, that's like the initial product. So, Does everybody understand that? Or I'll need to show you this in the presentation. So you can see that we put the initial product, the blue line. Then uh, you get uh, reject, non-concentrated reject. You uh, change it uh, so that product goes to third shoot. Then from third shoot, you get red ones that this uh, concentrated reject and blue ones that the initial products uh, which with the pipes on your factory or some elevators uh, go back to the initial material. So that the lentil for them that the first sorting without resorting photo. Yeah, does everybody understand that? You can write in chat okay or something plus or if you have a question I, I may I can help you and tell it one more time. <laughs> the waste will have a good feed value. So yeah, really every client uh, will decide what he will 
do with uh, rejected materials and so on. It doesn't mean that you need to waste it to the waste bin. So yeah, you can really use it somehow uh, and sell it also. How critical is the feed? For resorted product, they may not be enough to fill the chute. Is this a problem to the sorter? That will be enough to f uh, it will be enough to fill the chute because uh, the material you will sort really a lot of material in the production and uh, it uh, will be circulated. Uh, that is why uh, everything will be normal because uh, uh, for two chutes or for first primary sorting you will sort it with. Uh, uh, with the capacity and then also for the resorting uh, you you will have really big volume of the product big amount of it because uh, only for uh, tests there were not so many but for production there are a lot of the product that won't be uh, any problem for the for the color sorcerer. So now beans. Red beans, halves, somehow chopped beans, yellow ones, because it's spoiled somehow, so we put it. There is the cleaning system inside the machine because you need to use uh, air compressor. That is why um, ejectors blows uh, the air, which is uh, uh, goes from uh, air compressor. So you can uh, clean it with the air pistol, or and also inside of the machine you have a special system of cleaning. So you only need to uh, set the time of that cleaning and uh, for example once in five minutes the brushes go through uh, the machines inside and uh, clean everything inside the boxes. Not the boxes itself but uh, the parts where chewed and all the products. Uh, really the boxes uh, with the electronics is uh, securely closed so no dust will enter to that box where electronic so we can start Thank you. so I will we will show you the result for bean sorting. So So there are lots of maybe on the picture here it seems that there are lots of good beans here but that's not so because uh, it's chopped for example that one seems like good but now the tight it's chopped well it's a half size so that the end for the sorting now so we can really discuss special features of the machine and I can ask answer every question so uh, can test rice also. So we we can um, sort rice. That's not a problem, but not now because uh, today we we have chosen uh, beans, lentil, these five products. So for rice, please write in chat your email and your phone. Um, the manager who is responsible for your country 
uh, will call you and you'll make Skype conference and the same way like this webinar uh, he will show you how you can sort rice. That will be the same mm, so that won't be a problem. Really unfortunately Urad Dal I don't know what is that. As I know my colleagues told that that's similar with bean. So that's that's a bean. So for the sorting that's that the end we sort only these five products. So we will be waiting because failing typing as I've seen. Yes, when we're waiting we can show you how yeah the picture of the bin if if the picture was on the test Maybe the connection wasn't so good. You can see it from the picture that there's the yellow spots, some spoiled bean. Yeah, our special, like Alona told, our specialist will contact you for any additional test sorting and you may send uh, your sample. Also, uh, if you write where are you from, maybe we have dealer there, we also uh, attend a lot of exhibition during the year, so uh, we will be in Agritechnica show. Uh, my colleague will send uh, will send you now uh, the link uh, of the invitation to Agritechnica show in Germany, where we'll be with our color sorter. Also, there will be a belt type of color sorter. We will make all the tests for you with you, you will show, you will touch everything, so uh, and uh, also um, also we will uh, be in India in December Grain X exhibition so you can write us and so we will give you um, the list of the exhibition where we'll participate so another question is it possible to talk quickly about the loading and discharge in the production environment? What is the maximum? Okay, the first question. About the loading and discharge in the production environment, what do you mean by that really failing? Could you please write me because um, I can't really understand what you'd like to hear now. Um, yeah. About the loading, Okay, so you can load uh, the product, if I understand you correctly, you can load the product with an elevator, you, uh, you won't need uh, to put that boxes and put it in the infeed hopper, no, you, you will use elevators which up the product uh, to the hopper and then uh, you will make the pipes uh, for the output materials and then to the big bags or uh, bags or maybe packaging, packaging lines. Yeah, uh, in the factory, for example, uh, you will install it in the factory. So you will use elevators, you put the product and then, as I told, with the pipes, you can uh, send that product uh, to the packaging line or to big bags or whatever you wish really. Uh, yeah, you can install uh, the aspirator, it may be the whole aspiration of the factory for example. Here so you have uh, a special tube inside uh, the machine uh, for aspiration connection. Also you can buy a small aspiration system, it helps uh, to make the uh, to make uh, the environment inside uh, the machine much way cleaner. Yeah. What is the maximum size of product that can be sorted? So, uh, really we sorted, for example, walnut, halves of walnut. You need to understand that that's about, I, I don't know how to show you, about uh, three, four, till five centimeters. So till five centimeters you can sort with that product. If you have a product and material which is uh, bigger than that, uh, you can 
uh, use our belt uh, color sorter, we will announce it and we will show it in Agri Technica show in November. So, for example, if you have a big ones, that's not a problem. For small ones, that's also uh, we have machine installed for salt. For example, you know that. Mm, salt is really small, some poppy seeds, for example, also really small products, and you also can sort it with the machine. Now, what percentage of clients use an aspirator with the machine? Mm, I can tell you uh, really the percentage, but I think 80 90% percent of clients use an aspirator with the machine because it helps uh, the client to uh, to get the product without any husk and so on well, we you also we also can supply you aspirator for each use so you have an aspiration system which goes not only with the pipe of the machine but also uh, which is connected to the tube so, maybe another question, if you have. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for, for your meeting today. We were really glad to, to see you here today in at our webinar. Uh, yeah, thank you for your questions. That was uh, really interesting and we hope uh, that it's interesting for you. So, uh, as I told, we are ready to demonstrate to you our equipment and the exhibitions. We will meet you in Russia, so please fly to us and we will show you our factory and the machine also. So, yeah, thank you so, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, also, managers will connect with you and uh, if you have any questions, you may ask and they will provide you all the in information. So, thank you. Yeah, there's the link for the Agrotechnica show. So, you, if, uh, if you uh, roll the uh, webinar, you've seen that Alena Lebedeva uh, was uh, in chat. So, you can see her there by that link. You can watch. Uh, her video there. So tomorrow there will be a German. Uh, there will be another uh, webinar with the same product, but it will held in German language. So for you, if we, if you like, you can join us tomorrow also. So bye bye. Thank you so much. <laughs>